the 10th of June 2016, Christina Grimmy offered a hug to her most obsessed fan. She was pronounced dead less than an hour later. An hour She'd begun later. on YouTube roughly seven years beforehand, initially uploading covers of popular songs. Hi, um, I'm gonna sing Party in the USA. And after only Party three videos, USA. Christina went viral. Oh my She'd god. Can you sing Party in USA by Miley Cyrus? I wanna, I wanna listen to her. Oh my god. 14 years ago, 2009. Yo, I was five years old when she when this video came out. I must respect her. Hi, um, I'm gonna sing Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. When it gets to the high notes, I don't really, <laughs> it's kind of difficult for me to sing. My voice has been going through a lot of crappy problems. I hope you like it though, so, okay. Imagine having voice problems. I hopped off the plane at LAX with my dream in my cardigan. She had talent. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That bitch really took her away from us. Is is he in prison? Is he is he in prison? Hold on, let's and listen. 892,000 views by like covering play. Miley Cyrus what, what alongside her brother. Um, we're watching a video about Christina. Christina Grimm, yeah. She died in 2016 because of a fan. And yeah, we're just watching a video about the her. Market. Yo, I remember, I remember this. I remember, I remember when she died. It was at 6 a.m., you know, I woke up to go to school and it was all over the news. It was big news back in the day. ...who'd become a key figure. In Get to Know Christina Grimmy Part 2, she'd state, My brother honestly is a really big influence on me. He's a year older than me and we're like best friends. We always got along. There's Benny never been Benny really Hanna. a time when Rich we were ass, like nigga. sibling rivalries. Ass, nigga, ever. They therefore like begin making videos ago. together. I love my brother, who's also filming. And after only a year of uploads, Christina was one of the top 50 most subscribed channels. Oh. Hey guys, I recently reached a whopping 500,000 subscribers. With her newly found fame, Christina made a huge know. announcement. Don't forget to. 500,000 subscribers and in, 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 in 2009 YouTube was like was like 10 million subscribers. I'm not going to lie to you. Tune into the Ellen Show today. The I'm going to be singing Show? me and Tyler Ward's rendition of How to Love. Which made her even more popular. Our next guest has been hailed as the queen of YouTube. With over 200 million views, she is the most popular unsigned artist on YouTube. But despite also releasing her very first album, Christina's life still had its problems. She'd become so famous she had to leave her school, uh -huh. while trolls made Twitter accounts under Christina's name before making arrogant tweets. Even uh -huh. a couple of my really close friends, they've just told me, YouTube all your fans numbers. like hate you now nah. because you're being really cocky and rude. Nah. And I was like, Wait, how, how was the food though, Renzo? That's not me. Yet in reality, she was the total opposite. She'd state, I hate when people have big egos. I try to stay as grounded what? as I possibly can. I don't consider myself a famous person. No. So I kind of just do that, my- that's, every, that's the attitude that every famous person should have. But you know, niggas have egos. The food was hitting. I ain't gonna lie. Did you try? Did you try the steak with the rice? Cause that's the thing I had, and it had some eggs in it. Oh my god! Oh my god! That bro, Benny Hanna's actually has good food. I thought I thought niggas were just hyping it up. My thing, and my fans love it, and that's what makes me happy. Christina's okay. humble nature was noticed by Selena Gomez, Selena? who reached out to start a friendship. And there's Selena Gomez right there. Oh my gosh! Hi. There's Selena. And invite Christina on her very first tour. Her name is Christina Grimmie, and we found her on YouTube. We got to see her video, and now she's a part of our team, and she's Snake. part of our Whoa. family. After every stop, Christina Ooh, did a meet okay. and greet, giving her fans the chance to meet her and her brother. This turned out to be one of her favorite parts. My favorite part, though, of tour has been meeting everyone from all these different countries. Subsequently, trying to meet fans at every single show. And I loved meeting everyone, all the fans. They were so so great. The number of which had grown to over 3 million. She'd also appeared in different ads, placed third overall on the voice TV show, and was Bro, like being, yeah, I had the stake. Yo, being YouTube famous in 2009 is way, is, is way more impactful. Is way more impactful than being YouTube famous in 2024. You cannot, you cannot. You cannot say anything about that because being YouTube famous in 2009 is like, 
is like you starring in a movie. Like, look how they're treating them. Selling thousands of concert tickets, the next of yeah, which was scheduled at the Plaza Live in Orlando, Florida. Should promote the event by tweeting, Orlando, come out to the show tonight at the Plaza Live. Okay. Starts at 7.30, hyping up the concert like she'd do with any other. We're in Orlando today. Please come to the show if you live near Orlando, Florida. Uh, we are at the Plaza Live. Please come out. The show commenced with her brother on guitar, which when combined with Christina's singing, got the crowd so hyped she took the time to thank them. You guys are awesome! Oh my god! Everybody was delighted to see Christine alive, except for a guy in the back who barely moved a muscle. He wore a black cap and flannelette That's shirt. That's really some hating ass shit. You pay for the show knowing that it's music and you're supposed to move. This nigga pays for the show and, and, and he just don't move a muscle. This is up there with 50 Cent buying every ticket. Buying, buying every ticket in the front row in the front row for Ja Rule. That is so fucked And had purchased a ticket under Kevin Eddie. James Leubel. He'd grown up two hours away in St. Petersburg, Florida, in what was described a as a semi-abusive household. Eight. Kevin told him his mother beat him with a frying pan, threw dishes at him, and broke his brother's arm. His mother then time. passed away when he it's was so only 21, after which world? his father began dating someone new. Although over a two-year span, police were called six times about fights between the two, oh, often involving like alcohol and violence. Alcohol he worked a part-time job at Best Buy, but Kevin was awkward with people. Managers moved him around to different departments over the eight years he worked there, settling on him working on computers for the Geek Squad to reduce his interaction with customers, and Kevin's personal life wasn't any different. Yo, this nigga had the worst fucking life ever, I ain't gonna lie. He's a real soldier. I'm not, I'm not even giving him props, but yo. He dropped out of college, covered his windows with tinfoil, and spent all day every day playing World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah. But Kevin wasn't the only one who liked to play games. We do a lot of gaming on this tour, as you can see. You, the you gotta do your own twist to it. You got Jinxie. You got clip from like Jinxie. How? Christina How never stopped anymore? talking about her love for gaming. You name it, I play it. With her name channel's it, initial name being Zelda X Love 64. Uh -huh. In case you didn't know already, I'm obsessed with Zelda. Zelda. Hence the name Zelda X Love 64. Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game out there, although there are a lot. I'm very thankful for electronics, video games, uh, television, and the internet. After learning about this, Kevin became obsessed. To impress Christina, he lost 50 pounds, got LASIK eye surgery, had his teeth whitened, and got hair implants to cover up his receding hairline. However, Christina didn't know that Kevin even existed and instead fell in love with her producer, Steven Reza. On the morning of her concert, they'd share the messages shown on screen. Wow. Meanwhile, Kevin James this is very 2009. Loebel was spotted buying weapons. This is very 2009. He'd keep them in his jacket until the show finished, at which point Christina held her standard meet and greet. It's just a routine um, meet and greet. People of all walks of life. Feels safe. It feels like there's no need me. for security. Yeah, I mean, we've done this hundreds hundreds of times. Well, She'd stand beside this yellow itself. barrier, being videoed by fans with her brother in the background. Christina took this final photo before being approached by Kevin James Loebel. As seen in previous videos, her natural instinct was to offer fans a hug, doing the same for Kevin before he'd shoot her point blank. What Christina would do, she'd always just like, open up her eyes for a hug. That was her thing. The next thing you know, a couple shots go off. Christina's brother tackled the shooter, who then turned the gun on himself. W fucking brother. Like, I don't know how to react. Like, I don't. Police were on site within only minutes and quickly rushed Christina to hospital. Why was police in critical condition? I blame this on Orlando PD. Orlando PD. Like, it never, like, every time something bad happens, it's always the police incompetence. Why weren't there no security? Why weren't no, bro, what Adam Levine fuck? instantly wrote, I'm sad, shocked, and confused. We love you so much, Grimmy. We are all praying hard you can pull through this. However, after only 35 minutes, a tragic announcement was made. Local 10 News, this is what I'm telling you. If, bro, I remember waking up at 6 a.m., Local 10 News, just talking about this. Just talk like I had. I have such a vivid memory of this. A uh, singer I on the right. I was eating frosted flakes. I was. I had on. I had on what? I had on. 
I even remember the pajamas I had on. No, I had on Buzz Lightyear pajamas and a tank top. I was getting ready for school. So stardom is dead. We're still in elementary school. Why the gunman shot her at an Orlando concert? In? When the media rushed to the shooter's house, they'd find a note written by his parents reading, Deeper sorrow for lost, to the family, friends, and fans of the very talented, loving Christina Grimmie. No, no other, other comments. Kind. While back at the scene of the crime, the media was asking how this wasn't prevented. There was barely any back check. The only thing they were looking for is for food and drinks. They weren't looking for weapons. They were looking for weapons. They didn't any do pat downs or anything. They just yeah, yeah. L fucking security. I hope the whole security veto gets fired. Barely. And that's it. In the days that followed, the plaza's former general manager came forward to state. It was not publicly known that the entire management team was replaced on June 1st, the just nine days before the incident. He continued, I believe the replacements hired were completely inexperienced and ill-prepared to manage the plaza. Sadly, this tragedy occurred the very first concert managed by the new staff. When they weren't being know. security guards, they were just kind of standing there like having a good time. They were more concerned about like bringing water bottles in. The incident was so unusual, it's hard to know who to blame except for Kevin himself. Fuck no, blame the security. Check for, like, if the security checked for weapons, Christina would have still been with Fans them. simply focused on the singer writing, Christina, now you are on the wings of your dragon. Be at peace now, for you are now God's angel. Your hypnotic voice fills the heavens. Selena Gomez wrote, my heart is absolutely broken. I miss you, Christina, before dedicating a show to her. And I don't really understand how this really happened. But I would like to dedicate this to the That she wasn't able to finish as she was simply too sad. The voice added, uh. there are no words. We lost a beautiful soul with an amazing voice. Our hearts go out to the friends, fans, and family of At The Real Grimmy, while hundreds of other celebrities also offered oh my God, their condolences. Oh my God. I've literally been crying for two days. Shane Dawson. I don't give a fuck about Shane Dawson. Yo, get this nigga off my screen. Perhaps no one was more devastated than Christina's boyfriend. The grief from that really messed me up as a man. Cursing God had me getting into fist fights and getting blackout drunk every night. Messed my life up. Except for maybe Christina's mother. Yet Marcus Grimmie wrote on Facebook, I found out this morning that Adam Levine personally called my mother and said he'll pay for the funeral and her plane flight. Now a friend just told me to look at the GoFundMe page and I said, it is at 100k literally i have no words they held you see it you see it don't take much to be a good person you see what what being a good person a good talented person at at that could bring to you like the whole world was crying for her don't take much to be a good person like it really don't it don't take much all you have to do is just you know, spread positivity. Don't take much to be a good person. Not only a funeral, but a vigil as well, where one of vigil? Christina's tweets was publicly read. Sometimes God allows terrible things to happen in your life and you don't know why. This only became more true when her mother died from breast cancer two years later in 2018. Wholesomely, however, they're now buried side by side. Christina touched so many lives that seven years, almost seven years after her passing, people still care about her. So that goes to just kind of show what kind of person she was. Fuck, bro. Fuck. Oh my god. Fuck, bro. Fuck. Why did you guys choose this? This shit's sad.